It's beer o'clock on Real L Craft Beer. Oops, sorry, trying to get off this train. Right, I am at Bristol Temple Meads. So here is a quick look at this fantastic train station. One of the best train stations in the UK, I would say. Just some incredible, incredible stonework going on. Bath stone, limestone, beautiful looking building. Uh, built by, as I said, Isambard Brunel. But the first brewery we're going to be heading to is a brewery called Tapestry Brewery. Uh, it's a about a mile's walk for me. Uh, so I'm going to get going. I'll see you when I'm there. Okay, so first brewery of the day. Walking around, we have Tapestry. Tapestry. A Bristol brewery story. Let's have a look at these guys. It's about a mile's walk away from hello guys how you doing um simon from real l craft beer on youtube i'm i, I cover the cover the stuff on youtube and i'm just having a wonder about bristol today oh, yeah. covering all the different breweries and all the different bars i've just come off temple mead station and you're the first brewery i've hit uh, how long have you been going Do you, have you got time to talk to me yeah, first yeah, off good. yeah well we're, we're currently in the middle of setting up um, as Tapestry by Props Brewery, right, which is uh, going to be Bristol's first brewery that is all about uh, providing opportunity for special needs adults. Fantastic! What a wonderful thing! Absolutely, yeah. So we've taken ownership of this a few months back. Yeah, and we're currently setting it up. Are you? It up, ah, it cool. Up, yeah. Right, so, so you're not quite up and running yet. No, then. so ah, we right. hope to be open for the weekend of the 23rd of September. Right. Oh, okay. Lovely, lovely. Yeah. Could I have a quick in and out and then I'll get out of your way? Is that, is that okay? Yeah, I'm coming with you. Yeah. It's, it's very much a working program. Of course, absolutely. Absolutely. So there's your... So brew, brew kits over oh, there. Oh, look right. at that. Look at that. This will be the tap room floor. Right, okay. Uh, with some upstairs seating for bookings. Yeah. Wonderful. So, nice so you're going to be up there, space. someone yeah, having a drink up, up there. there. Yeah. Wonderful. Oh, wonderful. Well, I won't take up much of your time. Um, and of course, you've got some hops growing, I see. <laughs> yeah, he's been a bit some... slow by the summer. Yeah, yeah. oh, it's been, it's been <laughs> crazy, haven't it? It's been crazy. Um, well, I wish you all the best. Yeah, you to come back when we're open. Uh, absolutely. Well, I put it onto Google. I didn't realise you were closed, to be honest. But uh, the next place I'm going to is On Point. On Point Brewing Company. Yeah, they're fairly new, aren't they? Yeah, I'm going to go and find them, have a little wander around there. But um, yeah, I wish you all the very best with your venture. Yeah, lovely. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Bye bye. Bye. Right, that was really interesting. On Point Brewing Company. Uh, they got plenty of space for seating, nice seating area. Um, it's a nice, quiet part of Bristol. And I like that idea. I like that idea. Right, on to On Point Bruco. Right, we found On Point Bruco. Here they are. That's a good sign. You can see some kegs. Here's their little delivery van. Uh, let's go in and see if anybody's at home. Oh, they got a good taste in beer. Hackers for left delirium tremens. Hello. How are you doing? Stone the crows! <laughs> so I'm creeping up on breweries today, walking yeah. around the whole of Bristol. Bristol too. Yeah, can I shake your hand? Is that all right? Yeah, yeah. brilliant, brilliant. How are you doing? Right. And I come across you guys. I've had the tapestry first off yeah. Temple Mead Station, and now I've made my way to you. Are you on so, no problem? I'm on. Pro I'm on. The, I'm on foot. I'm going to be walking around yeah. all day. It's a bit of a building site. But you won't have a look. Can I have a look at your brewery? Is yeah, that okay? Yeah. What was your name? Sorry, I didn't. Ollie. 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 How are you Ollie. doing, Ollie? How are you doing? Yeah. Right, here we are then. So you got some barrel aging going on. Yeah, yeah. we did a Bedminster cool ship outside. It was the first thing we did when we opened up. Was, yeah. Uh, straight away we stuck a cool ship outside, made some walk, and then we uh, filled up these guys. Absolutely fantastic. And Look at the size of there. this barrel. Yeah, he's a uh, sherry. Wow. Big sherry. Big sherry. We've got what have we got in there? Some bourbons. It's all the same warts. And we'll see what happens to them then. These guys were previously from yonder. They filled them up before, and then we got them. Em they were empty, and then we got them up there. And some, uh, there's some more wine, and then as you see, some bourbon going on, and some Irish, some Scottish. Fabulous, absolutely fabulous. Yeah, really good, really Can't nice, really nice. It was quite a while ago. It was probably like 
maybe about nine months. Yeah. And, uh, so you've been aging for a long time then. Yeah, not quite long enough. We, yeah. We, we, have, we only we haven't, we haven't dared try any yet. Yeah. Yeah. Before it's poison for a bit. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You don't want to put any air in it we either. Do you? Take a sniffer out of this guy not long ago. Yeah. And, uh, it was actually surprising. There was a bit of uh, a bit of inosity going on. A bit of uh, there was there were some things going on. Ah, oh, cool. Cool. So where are we now? This is your uh, bottling line, is it? It's a canning line. Canning line. Yeah. Everything's cans these days, isn't it? It's gone over very quick it. to cans. We're just trying to get that and run. We've used it just once. Yeah. It's the Innovus British made. Brilliant. From Sussex. There's all the lids. So all the lids feed down there. There's your cans. Fabulous. Yeah. yeah wonderful. So you've knocked. Have you knocked through, or was it already knocked through this it building? Was lots of weird little shaped boxes and rooms. So yeah, there's lots of knocking through going on. You've done lots of knocking uh, this through. This was actually. Um, you, you might recognise that. It's Brains Breweries Craft Brewery, is that? No way. Yeah. So we have, that when it, when everything got scrapped out of the oh. city centre, the the chap who um, got the got the job of decommissioning the old city site. Yeah. He looked at that and he said. Somebody might want that. So <gasps> you put it in his fields in Chepstow, and then eventually I got over with. Oh my goodness me! Can I can I mention? Um, have you heard of a beer called Barry Island IPA? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We brewed the first beer, uh, the, the video, first yeah, yeah. Barry Island IPA yeah. on this kit. I actually I, I studied the video just so I get some idea because it was just two tanks in a field. Wow! I looked at as many videos there as I could to. Uh, figure out what was going on with what. That's incredible. Yeah. Absolutely incredible. It used to, it used to be, uh, like, the floor was this level. Yeah. So then we made, like, a gantry and uh, other things. We put it on direct gas fired, uh, put the, some farmers or auger in here to mash in with. Fantastic. Unbelievable. And this was a fermenter, a square fermenter from, uh, from, down, that from, from the same... From the same, yeah. from, from Brains Brewery. Yeah, I mean, they, they've... It's a real shame because they had so much promise with that craft brewery. They had so many, yeah. and then all of a sudden they just stopped. and And they've sold most of their pubs now in Cardiff. Yeah, um, Marston's. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's all it's changed good. there. It's, it's all good. changed there. But uh, I, I'm, I never thought I'd see that again. In no. my, and <laughs> and it's only me walking around Bristol <laughs> that I've that I've come across this yeah. kit. Are we rested here. So, um, oh, wonderful! Yeah. And then there's your fermenters, Bonnie and Jazz. Yeah, they were once. They were once. There was two of these guys. They were at uh, Mad Dogs. Um, they were at Mad Dog Brewery. Mad I brewed with Mad Dog as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we brewed that. Um, yeah. Their pill. Uh, their their I've hoppy pills. I did a bit with the um, Celtic experience at Motley for a tiny bit back in the day. Hartley, uh, Tom Newman were Celt, weren't they? Celt, yeah. Tom Newman Brewery. Oh, well, thank you very much for letting me have a little wander around the place. Have you got any of your branding that I can show off to the camera? Any of your... Um, so I can show... What have we got? got so do you have big plans for this place then? Is... Well, building a tap room at the moment. So this is uh, your tap room? Some on here. Oh, look at this. Uh, that was um, the hatch from the kettle from the big kit at Brains. Really? So that you rescued that as well because you thought it looked nice. And so, Absolutely. Uh, oh, it's wonderful you've saved all this stuff. It yeah. really is. I, I, it's really wonderful. And there were some other funny things, plaques from there, and some of these pictures actually. This is, this is all from. Um, it, it was just all rescued from, a lot of it from Brains, yeah. And the, wow. Wow. Uh, yeah. So we will have a tap room here. I've got a couple of these guys that have a serving tanks. Yeah. Uh, That's nice, all little, the little fermenters there. Yeah. Straight from the straight from the tank, and this is your this is your on point. This is your branding. So this is what we'll see when you're. No, 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 absolutely. I like the I like the approach. I like the fact that we're just wandering around and, and we're having a chat. And I like this. So you got two, four, six. You've got seven taps on when you when you're up and running, and and a and a pump there. A beer pump. Brains brains beer pump. Is it? Are it you was. Yeah, yeah. Thing. yeah. There was piles and piles of stuff there, and he kicks himself for not rescuing more stuff. Yeah. Um, there was a lot of antiques there. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> from the old Buckley Brewery. Oh, yeah, the old brewery Cardiff. Yeah. So I did Cardiff a few months ago on the channel, and, and I walked through the old brewery. That's what it looks like there now. Yeah. I think that was in there, maybe, as well. Probably. But it's probably Don, Don Jeffrey or someone, that is. <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. Oh, fantastic. They got their keg. Brings' keg implant was um, from uh, Bath. Yeah. 
So uh, I, uh, this this plaque made its way as well. That's and unbelievable. I really like it because it says uh, the keg plant and it's, it was from Bass. Um, oh, and every, no one really associates keg beer with uh, with Bass Brewery, do they? So no, 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 no talking fact, point, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Fantastic, fantastic. Um, yeah, and what you got going on over here? Oh, it's your water uh, tanks, is no, it? No, no, no. So uh, this is a kombucha project. Right. We got my, my mate Harry. He's making kombucha in a year. To, um, Fantastic. Some, you know, kombucha soft drinks. Ah, oh, soft drinks. Okay, yeah, I was yeah. wondering what it was. That I had <laughs> never heard of it. Brilliant. Safety. Yeah, I'll have to give it a go. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Next place now we're going to go on to is Bristol Beer Factory. Is it far away from here? No. I mean, no, it's, it's really close. Yeah. Just, just really close. The other place was a mile. I'm sweating buckets. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let's get on to Bristol Maybe. Beer Factory. Right, we're at Bristol Beer Factory with Kristen, head brewer. How are you doing, Kristen? Fabulous. Thank, Thank you so, so much for giving me two minutes of your time. Um, this looks fabulous, this place. Yeah, so Bristol Brewer Factory, we started in 04, um, and we started in this building we're in now, and this was actually a purpose-built brewery back in 1829. Was it? Uh, called Ashton Gate Brewery back then, I think. Ashton Gate Brewery, fantastic, okay, lovely. Should we, should we get in? Brewery. So your beers are terrific. Uh, I think one of my favourite beers is Southville Hop. Do you still make that beer? We certainly do, yeah. On keg and can, we do that. Yeah. Um, so here we're racking today. So our racking machine. Uh, we're racking our uh, 4.6% US pale, which is independence. I mean, oh, independence. Fantastic beer. Fantastic. Glass washing over there. Racking here. Fantastic. As a split of a brewery, we're at about 40% cask. 35% keg, and okay. the rest can. Okay, uh, that's yeah. our sort of split. Yeah, yeah. Hot water tanks. Wow, look uh, at this place. It's is on your suspicion. Uh, we're pretty much up to capacity now in the brewery, so yeah. we invested heavily in a central huge. Uh, this has helped uh, increase tank turnover and our yields on all of our keg and can products. So Fantastic. we're now getting about 10 to 15% more yield on every single product. Wonderful, so wonderful. That's it, that is an awesome bit of kit, that is. Fantastic. And then, oh right, here we are, cans. Can, can of machine over here, like for a can. Uh, just about to change the seal on it. Fantastic. Uh, into the brew house fermentation room. Uh, wonderful, absolutely one, wonderful. One brew today, uh, milk stout we're brewing today. Terrific beer, uh, terrific yeah, beer. Thank you very much. Brain. Yeah, um, and that, that's what that's the milk stout yeah, that we brewed today. With it, traditional brew house here, so single infusion mash tun. Um, yeah. This one here, thirty brewers barrel. We are so five thousand liters. Wonderful. Uh, Fifty hectoliters. Uh, Copper kettle. We're boiling at the moment. Yeah. Uh, boiling this one here. Um, we're going to make a beer out of and then everything around us is vessels, so we got 12 vessels here. 12 fermenters going on. As you can see, we can't get any more. So you got, you're got you absolutely up to capacity we with the. That is amazing. Uh, it's ama It's fa wonderful, really, that you've used this this building and put it back to its original use. Yeah, yeah, awesome to do it. Um, as you can see now, now though, we've, uh, we've hit some uh, issues in terms of space. With and, space. Uh, and, and how you design a brewery. Dude. So would you say you're brewing more beer now than Ashton Gate Brewery would have been brewing back in the day? I couldn't tell you. I don't know. I wouldn't have thought so, no. So there's three stories above us. They were ah, derelict. So right. They would have done it Victorian way and obviously done it. Top down gravity fed. fed. Yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. Maybe there's room to go up above in the future for you guys. Or is it just... It'll take a bit of, a bit of, uh, a bit of construction and money to do that. So to be honest, yeah, we're looking... We're looking for a big industrial site somewhere to uh, fulfill our future needs. Right, fantastic. Well, all the best of love. I'm going to go and find your tap room now. Is it around here somewhere? Yeah, I can take you this way. Oh, we, it, I, it might be, we might be just about okay. Six minutes. Six minutes. Oh, there we are. So we're making our way here through to the tap room. Well, thank you very much for your time, Chris. And, uh, You're welcome. Absolutely wonderful. This is a rather unique way to get to the tap room, can't fault it. Yeah, so we've got a little, uh, little corridor which, which is uh, great to bring brewery tours in. Uh, we do brewery tours every Tuesday night. Fantastic. And all our lactose, 150 kilos going in for our milk stout. Wow, wow. Here's the lactose. Do you use oats as well, as well as lactose? Not in the, not in the milk stout we do. 
you don't. Yeah, well, it's similar thing, isn't it? Wonderful. Yeah. Brilliant. And here we are into the right. So walking into the, the tap room, um, I've gone for a half of their fortitude best bitter four percent ABV. It's 12, 12 p.m. lunchtime here in Bristol, and I'm already whoa, running around. And <laughs> it's warm. I needed a half. So. Yeah, this is this is their tap room. So you've seen the brewery leads onto the back of this wonderful, wonderful tap room. We'll have a look at some of their their beers. Uh, there we go. Look at all that. Yeah, and then so you've got Black Country, Fortitude, Around the World, Neotropic. Notorious, and then you've got their keg stuff, then which is Independence, Bad Bun Session IPA, Milk Stout, and the Cider. The Independence is Double Dry Hop US Pale. And do you do food as well? Crisps and nuts. Crisps and nuts, yeah, that's my type of bar. That is my type of bar. So here is the I'll give you a quick, quick look at the Fortitude. Oops, pardon me. Here is the Fortitude. I'll jump out of everybody's way. Looks good. And that tastes fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. A proper biscuity, kind of nutty. Oh, just what the doctor ordered. So the first brewery was a mile from Bristol Temple Meads uh, train station. The next brewery was a mile. And then it was a mile here, so I've done three miles, three miles already. Um, there's so much more to see in Bristol, mind you. This this is going to be one, easily my longest video. Or not, not just the longest video. I don't want it to be just about a long video. But I want it to be about... Um, jumping on people's way. Um, I want it to be about how, you know, getting as much as I can in, seeing, like, Bristol's oldest bar... Uh, some of the old pubs in Bristol, and um, certainly some of the craft brewers in Bristol. There's so much going on in Bristol. As I mentioned when I got off the train, or I think I mentioned when I got off the train, there's, there's well over 20 breweries in the centre of Bristol. 20 breweries. And there's something like 30 bars. Um, so I'm thinking of eating today in... You know, crisps and nuts, nuts here. I'm thinking of eating today in wild beer. I think I might have a burger or I might have a pizza, but that'll be that'll be later on in the video. Um, but there's some fantastic old pubs in Bristol as well. Um, uh, th there's a place called the Barley Mo. That's the one, the Barley Mo, where they got like eight or nine different pumps on. We'll, we'll go and have a look at there as well. But this was Bristol Beer Factory. Wonderful. Wonderful bitter, really, really good, really, really good stuff. Um, yeah, next, next, next place, next pub, next brewery. So we're on our way to basement beer, but I just wanted to get the camera out. As I'll oh, check this out. What a fantastic old slight old left to stay on bridge. Vauxhall Bridge. Vauxhall Bridge, I think they call this one. Look at this, fantastic. Great views of Bristol. Right, let's get to Basement Beer. It's about a two mile walk away. So, to get to the other side, uh, I've got to go across on a little miniature ferry. So, let's get down onto the... Seven minutes. Yeah, Here we go. Here's a quick look at the harbour side. You got the SSS Great Britain Brunel's boat over there. With the, you can see the the masts, and one pound twenty to cross. Right, I'll video again when we're crossing, I suppose. Right, so here we go then. 
we're on our boat. So the only place, I mean, Google Maps brought me this way. I was just kind of like following Google Maps and I was like, wow, there's a river. What have we got to swim across it? So, yeah, here we go on a boat. Nice, Walk northwest. So I've got about, I've still got another 10 breweries to go. Um, I've already walked four miles. Walk west on Hotwells Ferry, Millennium Square, SS Great Britain. It's gonna be a big day. It's gonna be a big day. Maybe I should have done it over two days. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if we can get everything in today. I'm hoping we can get everything in. Um, there's rail strikes tomorrow, so I can't come back tomorrow. And I want to get. Continue tomorrow. straight. ASAP for you guys. Here we go. Uh, wait, wait. Right. Turn right onto Millennium Promenade. Yeah, that's right, right. Let's make our way to this brewery. Right, so we just got off that boat. Literally on the other side. Got this really nice complex. There's a nice brew dog bar there. Um, I don't think I need to go into brew dog. I think a lot of you kind of know what brew dog is. You're probably drunk in a brew dog bar, you know what to expect, but it's a it's a nice size bar that one. It stretches from well yeah, that's pretty pretty decent. I suppose we could maybe just quickly pop our heads in here. Here we go. That's brew dog. Um so yeah, let's let's carry on then. I mean it, it's if I do come across bars along the way, then I might as well film them. Um, instead of making my way back and going around in circles type of thing. But yeah, this is quite a nice, quite a nice little area of Bristol. Okay, so walking around the corner, I think we got basement beer over here. Ah, oh, it's another brewery look that looks like they might have some work going on. Let's go and have a look. Certainly is. Maybe we should. I'll have a chat first and uh, come back to you. Hi Ben. How are you doing? Uh, this is uh, Basement Beer. How long have you been going? Uh, so I moved in here just towards the end of last year. So fantastic. Sort of yeah, yeah, fantastic. Uh, well, I got you up on Google Maps, and I thought I'd come have a, you know, knock the door, see what's going on. Can I have a little look at yeah, you? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, is that? Uh, see, but well, nice. look at this. This is a nice, so you're obviously in a basement, there's, there's all kind of big buildings above you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, fantastic. So is this, does this beer just serve your bar or is it? Um, uh, no, I get into a few pubs now around Bristol. Yeah? Um, yeah, mostly sort of stuff in the local area. Uh, I used to run a pub before I started this as well, so I'm just going there too. And yep. canning a little beer and doing some collabs and yeah. Fantastic. Stuff, yeah, like. There's so much to see in Bristol, isn't there? That's I didn't realize how much there's something like 20 breweries. I'm on I number know, five and... you count all of the um, like brew pubs, it would be more than that, it's close to 30. 30? Yeah. I think I might have to bail on all of them today and, yeah. and, and well, try and hit some of the bars as well. Um, maybe I'll do a part two of, 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 of Bristol, but there's so much to see. Well, um, so what are your beers? What 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 is it? Uh, session strength beers or IPAs? New England Mixture, IPAs? Um, you know, a few with the... Um, you know, kind of bread and butter, full cent pale ales. You know, yeah, exactly. Sell loads. Sell loads off. Um, I do a couple of um, sort of stronger sort of IPAs, uh, starts some kettle sours, a um, couple of stouts as well. Um, do some collabs with a company called Bird and Blend, who are a loose leaf tea company. So cool. Do some tea infused beers for them as well. Um, yeah, sort of it's a good time to be involved in beer, isn't it? Feel like brewing on the day, yeah, 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 it's a good time to be involved in beer, isn't it? It's a booming, right. booming time. Well, I will leave you. Um, thank you very much for your time. I'm going to make my way off to the next brewery now. Well, thanks very much for the for the mini tour. Thank you. No Cheers. Worries. Thanks. So the next brewery is Wiper and True. Look at this place. Really cool. Really, really cool. Loads of outside seating area. Now this is. This is the business. This really is the business. Wow. The place don't open till four o'clock, but hopefully we can kind of poke our heads in and have a little look. A couple of people having beers over there. 
wiping in true Bristol. Uh, maybe we can get in, have a little look while well, you can see the brewery in the background. Fantastic tap room. Fantastic tap room. Let's have a quick look to. Am I okay to have a look at the bar there? Is that okay? Okay, thank you. Can I just show this off? Thank you. Right, welcome to. Oh, there's their beers. They got two casks as well, probably plenty of keg. Yeah, there's kegs on the back wall. And uh, there's the brewery. Fantastic, so lots going on here, the Wiper and True. Established 2012. Yeah, well, I won't disturb them, they're not open until 12 o'clock, so I'll, I'll dash out of here. <laughs> oh, that was, that was Wiper and True. So I, oh, they got hops as well. Is there hops there growing on the side? Or maybe some, something or other growing. I don't think it's hops. Well, that's impressive. If you're ever in, in Bristol, that is well worth a look. That's worth the travel. That's worth coming to Bristol alone, Wiper and True. Wow, what a fantastic place. Right, next brewery. The sun has come out in Bristol. Um, now we're coming across another Bristol brewery, which I think are terrific. I think their beers are really, really good. They're called New Bristol Brewery. Here we are. Plenty of kegs, casks outside. Again, we're going to wander in, see if we can catch somebody to talk to. Well, here's a look at the here's a look at the brewery. Loads going on. Hello, how are you doing? Hi, uh, can I help? Yeah. Um, I know exactly who you are. Your name's Simon, isn't you it? You know me, do you? Yeah. How are you doing? How are, are you, you streaming doing? Now? No, no, not live oh, streaming. No, I'm just filming for. Um, I'm running around Bristol. Record, right. um, recording a, a video for the, all of the breweries in Bristol. Amazing. All of the bars in Bristol. Got caught in the rain, soaking wet, but we're carrying on. Do you want a can? Should we have a can? You yeah, can, can, you, can. can you show me the brewery? Is yeah, that... I'll see the brewery. Yeah. Obviously, we are working at the moment. Absolutely. We are, uh, uh, yeah. Brewery. Yeah, no worries at all. This is what we want. We want that kind of raw grit yeah, of a yeah, video, yeah. you know? Should I get one of the other co-owners out? Or are you all right with just... I'll, I'll, just, I'll get you a can and we'll have a, uh, a wee run there. What would you like? Something light and sessionable, I reckon. Something crushable. Our, um, our collab with Vibrant. Fantastic. With who? Sorry, I missed Vibrant it. Vibrant Forest. Oh, Vibrant Forest. Yeah, yeah. Great brewery, aren't course. they? Oh, are you all right out of the can? Do you know what? I'll drink it straight out the can today. Yeah. Why not? Why yeah. not? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So, if you have a look, we're a 30, 30 head brewery. There we go. You can't be brew beer fresh at the brewery, can you, eh? That's it, man. Thank you. Can't beat it. Oh, that tastes really good. Really good. Nice and refreshing. I reckon yeah. I walked about six miles today <laughs> around all these different breweries. Yeah, we're a 30 heck brewery. And we're still constantly growing at the moment. Uh, we just put a new mash in. Obviously, just had a, a, a battle. And um, yeah, hot liquor tank. Yeah, yeah. Been ready for us. Can in there. Look at that. Really yeah. How are you doing? You alright? Yeah, good man. How are you? Good? Not too bad. Has a can there ready for you as well? Put that in your pocket or in your bag? Oh, yeah. Do you mind? Look really at that. Great. Thank you very much. Really, really, really kind of you. So yeah, if you come through here. So here's your canning machine. Big investment then. Look yeah, at that. Yeah. Fabulous. Really, really nice, really yeah, nice. Yeah, all up there. All your fermenters going on. How many beers you got? Are you full up with, with fermenters? Full. Absolutely full. chock full. Chock a block at the moment. I walk past that Southville stores down on by Bristol Beer Factory. And they were advertising your beers down there. Big sign yeah, outside yeah, saying, got, yeah, yeah, get new that. Bristol here. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Brilliant, love that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fantastic. So, um, if, if, are you kind of... Like most breweries, where you kind of you've hit capacity now, and you're looking to kind of upscale, or yeah, yeah, have you still yeah, got so room here? We're, we're right at the moment on where we are. Obviously, 
you know, with the market the way it is at the moment, we're, we're just trying to be sustainable. Yeah. And yeah. keep going, keep all of our customers happy. We work majority across the UK. We work some of the best distributors. We're exporting as well. So yeah, it's just, it's just a crazy time here. And, and the brewery's going to be changed anyway. We're just about to basically start building work and knocking for everything. For really? To build, a, build a new tap room. So uh, uh, November, we're going to throw a massive beer festival and stuff like that. So yeah. It's oh, I'll come time to here. that. I'll yeah, come to that. Def- I'll, I'll come across the water for that. Lovely. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you very much for You're inviting welcome. me in. Um, it's really lovely to see it all. And yeah, here's your bar. So, do you have any? Do you have any lagers on as well? Lagers are pretty popular yeah, at the so moment. We have a lager on. We've also got a cold style beer as well, which goes down really well. So I've yeah. got one of these here for you. All right. Give us a go. Thank you very much. I'm get what I'm doing. I'm moving away from the the music because I get copyrighted. So if you can. Uh, that's all right. Well, as long as you edit the video and just catch it, edit some bits. I'll edit. I'll edit some of the music out. Lovely. Yeah, bro. You're kind of diving out of here. So, um, where are we? Can I put that up on there? Thank you very much. So this is a oh, oh Bristol Pulse. Bit. Fabulous, fabulous. Thank you very much. There you I'll go. Stick that in my bag. Well, thanks for your time. Thank Can you I... very much. Lovely. Um, I'm off now to um, Left Hand Giant. I think is that far from here? Which one? Brew Pub or? Brew pub, apparently it's nice pub, on the river. Yeah, brew pub is literally, so if you go out of here, go straight, yeah. uh, go left, go through Cabot Circus, which is the big shopping centre, come out the other side of it and you'll be through to Castle Park, full of Castle Park round, you'll, you'll see it. Big, big sign. Left Lovely. Side. Thanks very Amazing. much for your time. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks. I really enjoyed that can from New Bristol Brewery. That really kind of, give me a bit of energy, really. We're not, we've just made it to Arbor. This is Arbor Ales. Again, we're just turning up unannounced uh, see if we can get some filming done so there's the brewery I think it says to check in so maybe maybe we should check in or maybe we can catch somebody um, I'll come back when I've got somebody to speak to I think they're quite a big quite a big brewery can't fault them so there was nobody at Arbor Ales to show us around unfortunately and we're gonna be just taking a quick look at more beer company it's a relatively large unit which is fantastic they've got a tap room there that opens most days i think from about 4 p.m generally thursday friday and saturdays are always the best time to get their beer their beers are terrific i'm not going to be going in there today um for two reasons there's already a a brewery tour video with justin on youtube of more beer company and in a couple of months time i will be here doing a collaboration with more beer company i'm not going to let any secrets out now but i'm going to be just walking around the corner i um, not too far away i think i'm done with the breweries now there is one brewery that i can hit they call left hand giant uh, apparently it's just a little bit tough to get to um and they don't open until four o'clock so legs are hurting um I think what well, we might be able to get we might be able to get to left hand giant a little bit later on but I tell you what I do need now after all these miles and miles of walking today is a point I need a point so I'm going to be going to the barley mow so the next time you see me I'll probably be getting a point in the barley mow let's start the pub tour we've done the breweries let's do the pubs so here is the barley mow pub I'm hoping Google Maps said it's not going to be open when I arrive. I'm kind of hoping Google Maps is lying to me because I am dying for a pint. In fact, it does look closed. What a shame. Maybe we can, well, what a lovely looking pub anyway. Let's have a look at it from the outside. Traditional British pub with lots of hand pulls on. Um, This is one of the pubs I desperately wanted to go in. There's some of the many taps they've got on that side. And let's have a look. So it opens at uh, four o'clock on a Wednesday. Oh, we can't quite see, maybe we can see. And there's some of the taps that side. What a shame. Right. I'm gonna have a look at my little list now and work out where I'm gonna go. I desperately want a point at this stage. Well, it must be fate. I'd almost given up on the last pub, brew pub of the day. 
and I come across it by complete accident. I was on my way to the Land Dogger Trow pub and I thought, oh, what's that down there? And then there it is, look, left-handed giant. Now, look at this place. Everybody said how beautiful this place is. It's on the river. Uh, they don't open until four o'clock. We might be able to, I don't know, we might, it looks like there's people there. We might be able to have a look. Oh, but what a wonderful entrance to a brewery. I've never quite seen anything like this. Wow. Look at this. Oh, it's made my day. This, this has, this has made my day. Look at this place. sit and enjoy themselves there's the brewery there in the background this has got got to be one of the nicest breweries i've ever seen has to be has to be there you go so there's a little bit of music going on so i'm just going to go through the window i think for now So you've got um, you've got all the fermenters there on the side, lots of fermenters, lots of brew kit. Oh, absolutely wonderful! What a fabulous place! Fabulous, fabulous place. Let's poke our head through the door and have a quick look. There you go. Amazing. That is left-handed giant. Right, I'm on my way now. Back across this bridge. I'm on my way to the Land Dogger Trow for a pint. So just having a look at uh, Left Hand Giant, Left Handed Giant Brewery in the distance. I've just come across another brewery here on the banks of the river. Uh, the Bristol Brewery, uh, George's Co Limited. What a cool place that is. Let's see if it'll zoom in. Here we go. I can see why Left Hand Giant have set up here. You've got an old brewery there on the river probably the River Avon and then left hand giant which look at that it's got its own bridge to it that is a wonderful place to come and visit and have a few beers right I'm definitely on my way now is across that bridge to the Land Dogger Trow uh, one of the oldest pubs in Bristol it's one of those timber frame buildings that uh, well we all know and love so we're just making our way onto Baldwin Street. This is a brew dog bar on the corner. And what's interesting me is not quite the brew dog bar um, because we don't really get them in Wales, but a Fuller's pub just past this bus. So a Fuller's Smith and Turner pub is called the Old Fish Market. Bit of a shame it's being covered in scaffolding as we're here, but uh, I suppose that's how it goes, isn't it? I imagine they got some terrific Fuller's beers in that pub. It's a big old place. Look at the size of that. Another pub, the famous old Duke. And then look at this place. This is the place I've come to see. I don't think it's Bristol's oldest pub, but it's the type of pub that's, you know, it's very kind of picturesque, isn't it? Might be able to get a pint of Bitburger in here as well with any luck. Wow, look at this for a building. Look at this for a pub. Let's go and have a look inside. So you got a pub this side. King Street Brew House. There's another place over there. Let's show you this. Fabulous. Another, another bar over here, bar and block. Yeah, but this is one. They got Bud Var and Bit Burger in here. <laughs> let's, let's get in. Right, so coming in the pub. Look at this. It's just wonderful, isn't it? Fantastic. 
Well, they almost look stained glass, the windows, and a classic fireplace going on. Uh, low beams, as you'd imagine. A little bar off here to the, to the left. Another fantastic fireplace. What a wonderful, wonderful building. Great. Nice oak bar. Look at this. And importantly, how are you, you doing, you all right? They got some terrific beer on as well, which is some, exactly what we want. Fantastic. Do you open upstairs as well? Um, it's being renovated at the moment. Being renovated, yeah. right, yeah. yeah. Um, I've been telling my, my viewers how I've been running around all day and I've been dying for a pint. That just looks like music to my ears. Can I have a pint of the Roth House Vice beer, please? Yeah, okay. Oh, look at that. The glasses. Let me come around this freezing cold glass. Look at that. You know how to serve a German beer. So how old is this place? How old is the pub? So the earliest record is 1664. 1664. So could it be Bristol's oldest pub? It's the oldest. No worries. No worries. I'll have a wander about while you uh, pull that pint. Look at this. Just wonderful. I wonder how many kind of, you know, deals over the years have been kind of dealt in this pub. Conversations have, that have been had in this pub. Um, just wonderful. Just absolutely wonderful. I mean, look at the ceiling roses. It's terrific. Some carved. So would you, would you say this is the oldest pub in Bristol that has like a really good beer selection because I know there's another one that's saying this exactly that's what I'm trying to say there is a place called the, th the hatchet uh, yeah there's a, there's a bit of an issue with the vice beer at the moment it's a bit of a I'm going to have a look in the cellar see what's going on with it do you know what I'll pay for half if okay. that's alright I'll pay yeah. for the half of that because okay I've really no no it's really fine with me because I want to try I've, you know in the UK I don't think I've ever had a, a vice beer on, on, on keg so I'll, I'll pay for that yeah, half it's the Roth house over there yeah. and uh, yeah what a lovely pub so we left the Land Dogger Treg pub which is actually the oldest pub in Bristol now the Hatcher from what the people in the pub told me just now is the oldest or one of the oldest buildings in Bristol it wasn't it was a it was a house so they built this this here this house where we're heading towards here or oh, it's a pub now was built for the executioner of Bristol so, so it, it did the, the building dates back to the 1600s but it wasn't actually a pub until the 1700s. So I always find, thank you, we got run over. Um, I always find that when, when you go on something like Google Maps and it comes up with the oldest pub in Bristol before it even tells you the name of the place, I always find it gets my hackles up a little bit. It, it all, almost makes me want to kind of look at it, dig deeper in history and look at the actual history of it. So the thing is now, where I was, the Land Dog of Treg was saying it wasn't a pub until the 1700s and it was only a house in the 1600s, but they're actually saying it was Bristol's oldest pub established in the 1500s. So. I don't know who to believe here. Who do we believe? It looks old though, doesn't it? It looks really old. And um, we'll, we'll let this car go past and uh, we'll get in there, I suppose. Right, here we go. But apparently it's just a, you know, just a general kind of cellar artois place these days, but uh, plenty of old, uh, Kind of stuff going on. Wow. So, hello. Lots of old fireplaces. 
football on, food, more fireplaces. In terms of beer, uh, Camden, Blue Moon, Beaver Town, Heineken, Amstel, another fireplace, and music in that direction, which we're probably going to avoid. Yeah, I mean, you got your low beams, your low, you got all stuff. Yeah, you got love the old fireplaces. Yeah. Yeah, he's a look at it. Here's a look at it from this angle. So, I'm moving on. I'm going back to King Street. As much as I like really old pubs, I don't really want to drink Amstel, or I don't really want to drink Blue Moon. A place like that, really, for me, should have lots of hand pulls, lots of proper cast beer, keg beer, it was just a real shame that it was just generic beer in there. I'm going to King Street. King Street is Bristol's craft beer central. Um, let's make our way there. So this is it. This is Bristol's famous King Street. This is where all of the terrific pubs, craft beer pubs I would say, if you want a decent beer, well, they've got a decent Chinese by the way, fair play to them. But if you want to try a decent lager, a German lager, maybe some Belgian beer, world beer, maybe some American craft beer, then this place has definitely got your back. This is King Street. This is Craft Beer Central in Bristol. So you've got Small Bar on your left. Now Small Bar are owned by Left Handed Giant or Small Bar owned left-handed giant vice versa you got this place over here the king william ale house open all day uh you've got well there's a pizzeria on that side uh the famous royal navy volunteer now i watched an england football game in there uh when england made it to i think they made it to the quarterfinals of, of a, either a European Championships or a World Cup and I was with I was with my mate Hopzine and we decided to skip from there the famous Royal Navy Volunteer we went over to Small Bar over that side of the road but you can see there's lots of places to sit lots of places to enjoy um, you've got Kongs here and the Beer Emporium which I definitely want to go in and, and have a look at uh, Bristol's Old Vic to be honest with you, I don't know too much about that. Uh, you've got a fantastic looking building there. Really, really lovely. And, well, there's, they, they, you've got the old, the old Duke down the end. And then, and then the Landoggen Trow. Landoggen Trow, where we were earlier on. So this really is, if you're a beer lover, and you're able to get to Bristol. There's that, that, that old pub where we, we had a little wander around in earlier on. The Land, land Dogger Trow. So apparently, as the story goes, legends will tell you, um, that, that building was built by the Welsh uh, because they weren't allowed in the centre of Bristol, the Welsh. So it was for Welsh smugglers, that, that building there, which is pretty cool. And I mean, look at it. Loads of places to sit. I had some terrific vice beer in there. This this street for me, oh, just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Um, I couldn't go in small bar. I couldn't go in small bar for the music. Um, as you all know, I get striked, copyright strike for the music if I go in to bars where they're playing loud music, which is a real shame because I would have loved to, loved to have shown you um, small bar. We'll try. Maybe we can try the beer emporium. Maybe we can try and get in there. Because that would be pretty cool. And Kongs, I quite like Kongs as well. It's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's got a nice concept with Kongs. It's beer and table tennis and board games and stuff. I quite like the idea of that. Right, beer emporium. Let's have a little look in here. 
Hello, all right. All right. This place looks super, super cool. Already see a barrel, exposed stonework, Bristol Shipping Company. Wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Um, all beers are equal, but some beers are more equal than others. <laughs> I quite like that, pretty cool. Um, Pavel Quack, love that beer. Earthel. And oh my goodness me, look. Look at this place. Look at this place, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Unbelievable. Is this a proper old vault where they use a store beer? Yeah, no, it's not a beer, it's an old rum vault. An old rum vault? Yeah. It looks terrific. Absolutely terrific. Can I have, I spotted that straight away as soon as I walked down. Can I have a pint of Paul on it, please? Thank you very much. 6.05. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So how old is this building, do you know? Very, very, very old. And the next one, for, uh, the next one is um, how many, how many different beers do you have on? Do you have loads of different, twenty-four different beers? <coughs> yeah. Sorry, um, yeah. Waving the camera around everywhere, putting my wallet away. Right. So I'm gonna have a look at the beers. Um, we've got Wiper and True, Wild Beer, Siren. Wild Beer, Heather's Lagers from Bristol Beer Company, more <coughs> Delirium Tremens, favourite of mine, Sour Susie. But whenever I see, because I don't really get it in Wales, I really don't get it in Wales, whenever I see a vice beer, I'm like, I'm going to have a vice beer, absolutely definitely. Vice City. Vice City. It's not a vice beer, but it's a little bit like Right, and that's by Good Chemistry Brewery. Yeah, Good Chemistry Brewery. Oh. Ten year anniversary, wonderful. <laughs> Good chemistry, wow, they've been going for so long. And then we have some beers over here. Sorry, we have um, Bristol Lager, New Bristol Brewery, Southville Hop. But look at this, absolutely wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Thank you so very much for your hospitality. Um, this is the end of the video, this is the end of the day. I'm gonna put my feet up. I've walked about 14 miles today, I reckon. Thanks for watching, boom, cheers.